Okay, look, man, guys, so this is this good. First, this could be a spoiler review. We are doing a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen Prey, please don't watch this video. This video, we're going to spoil every single aspect of this film. Okay, so this is going to be a full on 100% spoiler review. So you've been warned. Um, so I, 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 I don't know whether I'm, I'm sort of hearing feedback. Maybe it's maybe from yours. Maybe you need to reduce your volume. I'm hearing a bit of feedback. Oh, uh, what about now? Yo, yo, want to, want to. Still a bit slightly, just some slight feedback. I'm hearing it through my headphones. I'm not sure whether other guys will be able to hear it, though. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's not that loud anyway. So, um, okay, look. Here's the thing. You know what? I actually want to know what are your thoughts on the film as a whole, and then we'll, we'll then get into detail of the support. What is actually your thoughts on the film? Your thoughts? Well, let's see. So I'll be honest, man. Um, I think this is two thirds a very good film. Um, my initial response was like, this could have been well even before my like viewing of this like just hearing people talk about like what this film was going to be about oh it's going to take place in the past i was like interesting that's something that hasn't really been explored well, before native american as well native Country american yes. yes that was a key thing because was, and and, it's, and we're going to talk about that for me they didn't do that justice they didn't do that justice because for me like when they said that i was thinking apocalypto i was thinking that oh this is not going to be that kind of a movie and it's going to be very it's going to be very real and it's really going to be about how these native american people in this tribe respond to this freaking otherworldly thing but we'll get there but please continue it's interesting you thought that because my mind immediately went to uh the first predator movie because if you remember the first predator movie billy was actually uh native american and um he sort of had this weird kind of otherworldliness to him. Like he could sort of sense kind of like what the Predator was. And I thought that they were going to do some kind of origin film whereby like you can see that this thing came to Earth before and they were the first human tribe to actually encounter the Predator. And because of so many years ago, all the lineage and storytelling and stuff that Native Americans do, Billy just had that extra bit of... Like he could sense it that it wasn't of this. Of this. No, 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 because it's really because I was looking online, and someone made made the point that they thought, okay, what we assumed was they would view this as some kind of godly creature. So if you see something that's like invisible and so on, doing these things, rather than oh, what is this? No, it's they will view it much more from a more spiritual point of view, and it's so great to bring up the Billy aspect because I thought mm -hmm. once they would do that, this would be. It's we almost as if this thing that's has coming down is maybe they view it as some sort of a god, some sort of a, a demon, or some sort of like a spiritual creature or a being. They didn't really, because that's why it's like even. Let's be real, man. It's like, shout out to Don Trachtenberg and so forth. He ain't the guy. He it was a solid effort, but Tony, or so, so, so sorry, like a guy called Tony B. Tony B. Infinity Zone. It's Tony B. John McTiernan is not a joke. Bro. No, I mean, like, the thing about it is that um, Billy was the only guy on that crew that understood what was happening. Dutch kind of knew. Um, some other guys kind of, you know, they, they weren't really, they, they didn't really, weren't, weren't in tune with what they were really dealing with. Billy was the one guy that understood that we are not making it out of, out of this thing alive. And I think that the extra edge of, like, his ethnicity brought out a whole bunch. And I think in this movie, um, the main, her brother, uh, I don't remember the guy's name. I think it's like he Tabby. Was, Tabby I think. was it Tabby? He was yeah. he was excellent in this movie. Like he I, had something I, I, about I, him. Did you know what's so funny? That's his first acting role. Oh, wow. Yep. That's, that's his first, because, because I watched an interview before watching the film and they just used to interview them. And they went to him and he said, and then the guy said, oh, like, watch this guy. This is his this is his first acting role. I went to him, I'm like, bro, for a first acting role, he was really good. He was, I was, that's very impressed for you, for your first um, film. Yeah, so, I mean, it wasn't an issue with the actors, because I think all the actors in this movie did pretty well. I think the issue had to be because it, listen, I'll have hope. 
there were moments when I was watching this movie where I was like, oh my God, are these guys going to do it? Mm. Because I was really loving the first two thirds of this movie. Because the thing that they understood about this that a, a lot of other Predator movies forget, mm. the Predator is a creature that you don't want to show him too much. If you notice in the first movie, I think if you look at the first movie, he's only in it for like eight minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? And they did that in this. Like, they sprinkled him in little by little, little by little, showing a little bit of time. Yeah. And that builds suspense. So the suspense, yeah. And there's a point in this movie where, like, there's a big stretch where you don't see the Predator for a long time. Mm. And the thing about Predator movies is you don't show him for a long time, but you got to make damn sure that... In the third act, it has to be, it has to go down, man. Because yeah. the third act in every Predator movie is probably the most important act. Yeah. Which I think in this film they they really dropped the ball, man. And it's it it saddened me, man. I was really upset because there were moments like I don't know how far you want to go into like the movie right now, mm. but um, there were a couple moments in this where like, especially that that scene where when the Predator is fighting that bear, I'm like, oh my god. This is so good. This is so good. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, they're doing it. They're doing it. And then, like, there's a part, I think it happens when they get captured. Like, that's kind of where it just drops off for me. So I don't know how yeah. how you felt about that. But they're, they're, for what I've seen, I mean, it, it, it... I've got a much more complex view. First of all, I, did, I was not a big fan of the Predator design. I was not a big fan of just how he looked and so forth. But it is what it is. But that's what I was not a fan of the design. I think that there's a level of sophistication you need to have when you're making these predator films. And I just feel that how you present the creature, it's very important how you present the creature because what 100%. you should always do is less is more, less is more, less is more, less is more. As, as you said, build intrigue, build intrigue and build that mystery. I think the issues are even before we get to the last step, which was for me, a mess, even how the director presents it, the Predator, it seemed as if he was like a fan rather than a filmmaker. I don't want a fan of the films to make this film. I want a filmmaker to make a quality film. So what I want is for the bits with the Native American tribe and so forth, I want them to be well developed, fully rich, proper characters. And then when you have really good characters and you have a really well-defined story within the Native American tribe, the thing of the Predator, that is just what intersects into everything. So Which is, is it's why it's so sad, say. man. Because it could it could have been so good. All the all the groundwork for a great film was there. Mm. It's just the pieces were on the board. He just didn't align them properly. Okay, okay, okay. Can we, let's deal with the um, purple flamingo in the room. <laughs> So the do you know so 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 the lead is supposed to be sixteen years old. Infinity. A predator was taken down by a sixteen year old and her dog. Did, did, did you hear what I just said? A predator, one of the most feared hunters out there, was taken down by a sixteen year old girl who was training how to hunt and her dog. And see, here's the thing that for me, this isn't about, oh my god, blah, blah. We all know how good Sigourney Weaver was in Aliens. We, know how, we, we all know how good Uma Thurman won, was in, in Kill Bill. We all know how good Linda Hamilton was in Terminator. It's about casting. For me, I think it is a great idea for this to be starring a Native American woman. A Native American girl, no. A Native American woman, I think that, that, that would make a very compelling film. So a much more mature kind of a woman who okay she's not she, she basically wants to do the stuff that men are doing i just felt the whole this lead she did a fine acting job i just didn't feel the kind the sense of gravitas that i felt with the dude the tabby guy or i just felt that if you had picked a older lady a, a woman who was older i feel that would have had a lot more gravitas in physical limits, when we're dealing with predator, this ain't time for boys or girls. <laughs> okay. A, yeah, I'm, gonna, a, I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna give my girl, take, but I'll let you go ahead. Okay, so, so, so like, like a boy or a girl shouldn't be going up against a predator. Because after what we saw in Predator 1 and Predator 2, we know that, okay, this thing is serious. 
And I don't want the excuse of like, well, this is in the past, so these practices are not as developed. No. You've set a precedent that these are extremely dangerous creatures. These creatures, you do not mess with these creatures. So a boy and a girl cannot take them down because if we want to be real, how I thought this would go down is it's a Native American tribe and they, they try to hold their own, they all get killed. They all get killed. The predator takes them out. Because I think, because I was reading this on Reddit, they need to see, if I was making a predator movie, I make a predator movie where the predator kills everyone. Now, there's a massive standoff with the, the, the last guy who says what's up, and there's a massive last stand, but the predator wins. I thought this is a thing where these Native Americans, they all get killed. Do you know how Arnie, people, it was such a big deal. When Arnie got his ass kicked by that predator, that was a big deal. <laughs> we had no, prior to 1987, nobody had ever seen Arnie get his ass kicked like that ever before. So when we saw that, we're like, oh, bro, if this thing can beat up Arnie, who we, who, the same guy who we saw, who we saw take down an army by himself in commando, this thing cannot be, be messed with. Dude, you know, you have hope, you know me. I'm a predator guy. Mm -hmm. I got a poster right back there. Yeah, you know, in my living room. So, see, here's the thing: you have to be very aware of power levels when you talk about predator. Because the thing is, like, if anyone knows predator, like these things, they literally they hunt aliens for fun. Think about that for a minute. The alien, the creature that wiped out. An entire crew in the first movie, the Marines were sent in to fight them in the second movie. They got their ass kicked. These creatures, these things right here, they hunt those creatures for fun. And I think if, you know, even within this movie, there are moments that they show the power of this thing. Yeah. And it's almost like it's the movie itself is not really following its own rules. No, 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 please. I, I, I'm going to ask you this because see this, I'm confused here, but let me ask you this. Okay. Which Predator is stronger or more powerful? This one or the one that we saw in Predator 1? Um, because, because the, the thing is, man, it's... it's... I, I'm getting real with you. The tools that this Predator had in this film, Homeboy didn't have it in Predator 1. The thing about the first Predator movie is that from what people have been saying, you know, they talk about it and they're saying it's... The one we saw in that movie was like an was a very experienced predator. Okay. Like he's been doing this for a long time. So in this movie, they made up the excuse of, well, this is the first time it's come to Earth. And there's always been this thing with predators whereby like they have this lineage whereby you have to earn your different weapons. Mm -hmm. Like the 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 the, the blades, you have to earn the blades. The shoulder cannon, you have to earn the shoulder cannon. Because if you remember in the first predator movie, when he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Arnold. He took everything off. He said, you know what? I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take yeah. that off. Take my, my helmet off. We're going to do this mano y mano because I don't want any advantages. But I think, you know, the Predator in this movie, I thought was like excellent up to a point. And he the thing stupid. is... He, he became... A, they made him into a dummy. They, again, like I was going to say, like we're going to go into that third app because that's, yeah. that's a whole discussion we've got to have yeah. right there. It's separate yeah. because... Yeah. Two thirds of this movie, he was doing an excellent job. Whoever was in that suit, that guy, he was moving the right yeah, way. Yeah. He was doing things yeah. the right way. The so, design. So, so, yeah, go ahead. Okay, this is just me being very nitpicky, very nitpicky, and, and, and so forth. Uh huh. I felt the way that now this is not on the guy in the suit because he's just following directions. I felt that the way the predator moved, it seemed a bit too comic booky. What I like about the first two films is it felt more natural. I think, you know how he, you know, he stops, he looks and everything? It just feels as if like, okay, it's, it feels a bit too on the nose. Because I think like, what was, because again, I think watching how this guy moved, and now, because I want to watch Predator 2 again and so forth, but, and watching how he moved in the first two films, it's very different. And I think yes. when, you, when, you, when you just saw how he moved, it just felt like, okay, like, it feels human, but not quite human. That's so the thing about like, it, because mm. I want to do a shout out to Kevin Peter Hall, because the way he moved in, the, in that suit in the first two movies, it wasn't like a way the a human being moves. And it was very odd and dancer-like and strange. But, 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 but it wasn't... 
you see, in this film, it felt as if like, oh, I want to be. It it was almost as if they were um, playing it too hard to make it move like an alien. Whereas, like in the first two films, it felt as if like it feels human, but not really quite human. It's a bit offbeat, but so it wasn't. The pendulum was perfectly in the in the middle, in the way that he was moving and so forth. So it made it a lot more interesting as to okay, okay, what what is this thing? You Would you really? attribute that to the fact that you've seen it before, though, or is it something that you feel like the actor just wasn't understanding? Because I feel like because we've seen this thing so many times, mm -hmm. um, it sort of has this ingrained in sort of like society of what you know, like in comic books and stuff that we've seen it so much, you know, in t over time that it's like. Yeah. When someone is, you know, he tells someone, "Hey, I want you to behave like a predator." There are certain things they do, like you know, the neck twist, the, the certain yeah, yeah, twigs, yeah, 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 and the way he yeah. moves his hands and yeah. crouching and all that stuff. So I think he was understanding that, but like you said before, I think you nailed it. It comes down to the director because they showed him a little too much towards the end, and I felt that it looked like a guy in a suit too much. You see, and that's, that's where they kind of lost me a bit. My thing about it is. Again, the key to this whole review is less is more, less is more, less is more. I think this felt like a fan film because the way they were showing the Predator was like, oh my gosh, look at how cool the Predator is. Oh my, it's so cool. It's so awesome and everything. I'm like, no. What made the first two films? Because I'm going to be real. Predator 2 is the second best Predator film. That That's still the second best. On politics. That is the second best Predator film. And I want to save Predator 2 to the absolute because I want to talk to you why it is. I, I appreciate it. But let me just stick with this. So, less is more. The more they showed this Predator, the less impact it had. Man. Whereas we look at the first two films. Yes. Every soon time you saw the Predator, it had an effect. And what was the beauty Quick. about the two films? Specifically the second film. Why the second film was so good was there was a whole story separate from the Predator. It's Danny Glover, he's a cop, gangland, gangs going up against each other. So that story is f totally focused. But within that, you have like Jaws, the predator just intersecting within it. So why that was so good is that you're having like this kind of urban city gang storyline. But in the periphery, you have this predator that they're just locking all around, which adds the whole mystery. And that's the whole thing. This is not an action movie. The problem was this began as a mystery and delved into an action film. It delved into a slasher flick. Predator is not a slasher movie. And I think that's what he said. That that last third, it's a slasher flick. Which is not what the Predator is. It's a mystery su suspense film. It's mystery suspense. And it's mystery suspense horror. Those are the genres that it is. So pick one. But when you're making a Predator film, you have to dance between mystery, suspense, and horror. At no point should it ever be an action film or a slash film. Because once you do that, you miss the whole point and the beauty of this Predator film. Well, it's it's interesting you mentioned the action film part because I actually will say that the first half of Predator 1 is your standard 80s action movie. What made it unique was that it started that way. So you have the expectation in check that, oh, I'm just watching another Arnie action, action. film. And um, the beauty of that film is that as you're watching it, you're like, wait a second. It's almost like seamlessly changing between genres. It's like all of a sudden it's becoming like a, a, a slasher film. No, no, all of no, a sudden no, it's no. becoming a horror movie. All of horror, a sudden it's becoming not, a sci-fi movie. Not, see, not a slasher movie. Horror suspense. See, slasher, it's blood, guts, and you're, and you're seeing, see, a slasher film, you're seeing the guy literally go through, guys, and it is extensive, the kind of violence that you're seeing from the perpetrator. I would, I, would actually, I would actually argue that it is because the way that some of these people got taken out of Predator 1 was some of the most horrific deaths I've ever seen in a movie. No, 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 but, 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 but see, my thing about this is that how many times do you see the Predator physically doing it? And for how long does he do it? And how extensive are those scenes? Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that's a slasher movie. Scream, that's a slasher movie. Oh, I see what you mean. It's, it's, not, a, yeah, it's not a straight slasher movie. But what I'm saying is that the movie itself, probably one, it it blends together many different elements oh, yeah, no, no, of no, other it's, movies. It's but yes, it dips its toe. It, it dips its toe. It, it yes, dips its toe, but it never embraces it. So, and I think that's what we said. It starts off as an action film, but at no point do you see the the predator around. 
So this was something different. And then once the Predator comes, it switches to a horror susp- suspense film. Man, can you imagine if this movie was like, it started off like an apocalyptic type of movie? Mm. Well, it's, it's, and it's, it's, it slowly movie. became a Predator movie. This is what I'm saying, man. This What's, movie had everything it needed to be a great film, man. So the problem, I think, is that they didn't focus enough time on the Native Americans, which even, you know, you said in the beginning. Because there was a gap in this film where, like, I feel like the main character, like, all of a sudden she's ready to fight this predator. And I feel like, wait a second, are we missing a scene? Because in every type of movie like this, there's always a scene with, you know, like, with someone else's experience. Like, her brother would have been the perfect guy. Because do you remember the scene when she she got her ass kicked and she fell out of the tree and he brought her home? Mm. There needed to be a scene in this movie right after that where he takes her out to the jungle and they fight another um, lion. Mm. And it needed to be a scene whereby he's explaining to her the ins and outs of hunting, the psychology of hunting. This is the mindset you have to be in. This is what you need to do to be ready. And there needed to be some sort of training or preparation or growth for her character because the last act, she's... All of a sudden, she's ready to fight this thing. It's no way. I, I didn't buy it. And I think it's because of that. It needed some kind of scene in there. And it felt like a weird absence because in every Predator movie, there's always like a like a gear up scene. Mm. Like when the main character is getting ready to fight this thing. And it didn't happen in this movie. Um, no, no. I didn't buy her being able to fill the Predator. You know, you know what I, 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 I hate when they do in films? is when they said, oh, well, she outsmarted the well to be fair to be fair that's that's a fair statement because no no one can fight a predator hand to hand no human can fight a predator hand to hand arnold can't do it no 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 but you know but see, but see this is the issue that i have mm-hmm. the character of dutch he's a military vet he's a pro- pro- professional so how he experience. was able how he experience how he was able to trap the character because he is pulling from years upon years of experience of okay this is the thing okay. that's what so, i'm saying man so that's exactly that what i'm saying in libya that's him in iraq that's him in iran okay no, that's him. so he's pulling off a wealth of experience to try to take the only thing danny over he's been a cop for several years and as a cop for, for several years he may pull upon different experiences of catching criminals and so forth and finding out different ways in which to take this thing down so these guys are experienced you can buy them coming up with a ploy and a strategy she's 16 years old bro give me a freaking break see so this is this, this thing that just pisses me off she's 16 years old how can a girl somehow think of a strategy to take down a freaking predator at 16 years of age come on bro come yeah, on yeah man. man it's it's it, for me, it's not necessarily an age thing. It's more of just like the movie has to sell it to me. So like what I was saying before is that it has to sell it to me because there's a point where she's you, – you, <laughs> you don't jump in the back of a predator <laughs> and start stabbing the thing. This thing will flick you off like an ant, man. <laughs> they showed in the scene in this movie. This predator lifted a, predator, uh, lifted a, a bear above its head like this. <laughs> do you know how much a bear weighs <laughs> and you tell me this 100 pound girl lands on his neck and they're stabbing it away and they can't just like it comes down to psychology man like you have to do things, things a certain way man see, see, me, see, as you said you've shot yourself in the foot by showing that scene with a bear a bear which is one of the strongest creatures on the planet when you now once you show up that means that that means that she can't go one by one against that, that, that thing that's the moment the predator grabs her and throws her off she's done she's done that's so, man so, so, that's... So because, because and you see the thing is it's about power level because you've already established a certain level of of strength so once because i told you once i suddenly go one when i say go oh no 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 guys don't do this don't do this don't do this please don't go one v one don't go one v one because like you look at what happened to dutch and we're dealing with freaking annie bro after the guy got smacked up and beaten up you saw how he was down down on the ground it's like but see but see this this is where i am confused so is this girl smarter than dutch listen man because from, from, from a military point of view 
because like no because because that's what i'm convinced because is this guy, is this guy because my thing is that i i'm just trying to grapple because see i have to be very clear here this isn't a case of like oh my gosh go i don't want a boy fighting the predator boy or girl this a boy or a girl shouldn't be fighting against the, the predator you need a seasoned hunter whether that is a man or a woman you need a seasoned hunter again if it was me i would have done a thing with a native american woman who when no one is looking she's been hunting so mm. she she goes out in so so let's see during the dance time she plays the role of a woman and so forth during that night when no one is looking she goes out and she hunts because she wants to prove herself but she, but she, she has to do it when no one is looking so she has watched the other guys do it and developed hunting techniques herself and then when the predator now comes and so forth she has built up a wealth of experience to know how to take down this thing if it is limits we see in this freaking film that she's crap the that's the mistake they made they, yeah. they they show her just trying to be a decent warrior and she was failing at every turn yeah. but they never had a scene where she was actually developing and getting better which is why i'm saying that it, it doesn't feel earned so i mean listen predators are some of the most cunning and smart do you remember that scene in predator one when arnold was trying to lure the predator into his trap come on kill me i'm here come on and the and the predator's like oh I'm, wait a second hold on a second and it starts touching the branches and it's like wait oh you're trying to get me okay and it goes around the others it goes around and dutch's face was like oh shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, listen. No, you just might be off something this is why i will always give predator 2 kudos the moment you reference a line or a scene from predator 1 you automatically get minus max from from me did if it we, bleeds we can kill it when did it bleed in this film when did it bleed for that guy to say if it bleeds we can kill it he never saw it bleed so you just said it because hey this is the famous line wait you never saw it bleed so why say if it bleeds we can we can kill it that's the thing that it's look, look the movie was doing its own thing for so long and i'm like yes man this is what i'm talking about do your own thing do your own take and then all of a sudden it just it's like oh man here we go again back in the same old routine again and we've had this so many times man it's like i don't like i'm saying like i got the feeling that this movie got hijacked halfway through it almost feels like the director was like okay i'll do two-thirds of this movie and somebody kicked them off the project and brought somebody else in to finish it that's how it felt that's how uh, it felt to me have you seen 10 cloverfield lane yes it's the same director same director I'm not sure whether it got hijacked. Oh, are you, are you referring to the ending of that movie as yes. well? Yeah. You might be right. I forgot about that. So my thing was like, that's for me again. Wow. For two thirds, pretty good. Ending. It might just be it might just be a director thing. I think let's stick the landing. I, th I, th I think I, th I think the, the dude was him. That's it. Look, see, my thing about look, look, see, do you know what? The, do, okay, do, see, let, let's not get the real talk. Let's go to the real, real, real talk. Who? wrote the first two films and created the characters the, uh, mean, their names are john the, and the thomas brothers thomas yeah. brothers so isn't it doesn't it make sense that the two best predator films are the two films written by the guys who literally created this entire thing the thomas brothers i always say that the script is the bible the screenplay is the bible and someone needs to get it into their heads that no get these Thomas brothers to write a freaking script because they understand the story. Same thing I said with George Lucas. You have to have Lucas just even as an, in an advisory role for any style thing that they do. Thomas brothers, you need them in an, at least in an advisory role, a story role to be able to really um, help you. Because see, look, see, the beauty about this is that even if I'm not a fan of this film, it's, it's, it's decent. It's not crap. It's, it's decent. But what this opens up to is what they should always have been doing, which is the Wild West, um, Vikings, Samurai, Ancient Africa, and so forth. Because I, for me, I don't want it to be a case of, oh, this was the first time that the Predator, maybe the Predator was went back into the Viking Age, the, the Middle Ages. You can go to so many different sections and so forth. It's, so, it's so rich with, with creativity. There's so many things you can do with this character. So, 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 and it's so, a really so, quick, yeah, quick, 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 quick question. I'm confused. That whole thing with the gun, you know that's from Predator 2. 
Yeah. Okay, so have they retconned that whole storyline? Because how does the Predator now get that going to give to Danny Glover in Pass 2? I had the same question, and apparently if you watch the credit sequence, yeah, yeah. there's a scene at the end of the credit sequence where you see a ship come down and more Predators show up. So I think that's what that's referring to, that the story isn't quite over yet. But which is odd because I think there's actually a Dark Horse comic book that um, it talks about the storyline of the original um, Elder Predator that you see a Predator too. The one that has yeah. it's the whole storyline based on that gun and how yeah. it came to be. So I think they kind of retconned that entire story and they're trying to do this instead. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you know, yeah. So I, I, Predator Two. Do you know why Predator 2 needs to be given a lot more love? And why it's the second best film? First of all, do you know it is almost an impossible task to follow what I believe is a masterpiece? Predator 1 for me is a flawless masterpiece. So that is an insurmountable task to follow up with Predator 1. What I love about Predator 2 was it was completely its own thing. It's at no point used Predator 1 as a crutch. And it was unique and its own thing. And do you know why? Because, see, when you create something and you are the creator of something, and then I say, now do a part two, you're like, I don't need to reference myself or reference what I've done. I have new ideas. Now, if you get someone else, which is what you've now been, we've been seeing about this film, because they're not the creators, all they can do is just reference that part one. But the Thomas Brothers, because they developed it in part one, in part two, they're like, oh no, we have a completely different story. Which is why I would have loved to see what they did for a part three. Because I'm sure 1,000%, you asked those guys right there, 1,000%, they said, if you give us a part three, oh, we're going to, to the Wild West. We're going to, to the Vikings and the Middle Ages. Because that's why they put the gun. The beauty of that gun is about, oh, these guys have been around for a very long time. So we can now go back to, to different time pieces. But the beauty about part two was it was completely its own thing. And that's because I broke how much scarier would it be? See, it's one thing in the predator in the jungle. Most 99% of us don't live in the jungle. 99% of us live in a city. Imagine a predator in the city going through apartments, flats, and so forth. That is frightening. <laughs> no, man. That, uh, that whole idea of the concrete jungle was a very smart idea. Very smart. Very smart. Very and I think smart. I love Predator 2 because I like the way that it opens up and it opens up with the, uh, you see like a jungle and then it just pans up to yeah. the city and then yeah. you see the Predator 2. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, like, yeah. that's like one of my favorite intros, man. No, I mean, like I agree 100%. You know, no Predator movie has even come close to the first two yet. No. And this one had the best chance of doing it and it failed. Yeah. And it comes to, you know, it, it really shows you the fact that like, the creative minds that come up with this stuff are really the only minds that can follow up with this stuff yeah. because I've, you know, I've, I'm starting to realize that as I get older, because I'm looking at movies like Terminator, which they've made like 17 Terminator movies and not one of them has even come close to the first one or second mm. one. And it just comes down to the guys that are the creative juices of the guys that create these things. I mean, you mentioned that, you know, they should have made a part three or four. I believe they did an interview a couple of years ago when they were talking about how, like, you know, they had scripts and ideas for making a part two and three. And I think one of them was set during the Civil War. And it was basically a guy, like a soldier who was fighting. And um, him and the Predator end up, like, teaming up or something like that mm. towards the end of the movie. And it was it was a really, like, crazy script. And I'm like, man, that would have been kind of an interesting story to see because the, the thing about Predator, Predator is not an alien. It's not like Alien. It's not a mindless creature that kills things. Oh, no, you know? It has a code. They have their honor code. And if essentially, if you encounter a Predator and you're not, you know, you're not, you're not holding a gun or a weapon, mm. they're not going to be interested in you. They'll just yeah. walk away. Oh, no, no, no. Because you know what I've always said is that at some point, you have to have a predator film that is set several years into the future where we go into where, where we we find their, their home world and we find their home world obviously using our future tech because at some points we have to say okay where did these guys come from and actually go into their home world. you don't go to their home. that was the issue with predators like predators apparently they went to their home world in predators 
I think it was. It, they never specifically said what it was. I think it's just a hunting ground or something like that. And do, do, do you know why? Son? <laughs> Look at how hard it was for them to take that one predator. You now want me to believe that a crew can take down a whole bunch of predators? Come on. Bro. So already the premise was BS. Predators, as in several of these things. Come on, bro. Like the whole point is that no, trying to take down one thing is almost impossible. More than one is oh, forget about it. It just can't be, be, be done. So, um. <laughs> yeah, man. But, but you see, the thing is about it is that it's not. Look, look, look. I'll say this. I'll say to be, you know, to be completely honest, this movie looked amazing. Like the cinematography in this movie oh, looked yeah, amazing. Yes. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Some of the makeup that these guys had on, like the Native American makeup and the way they looked, I was like, "Damn, this very looks well cool, man!" Film. Very well made. It, look, it's a very well made film. I will never take that away from a technical point of view. It's very like maybe yes. too much CG. The CG was a bit too much in places, but overall, it was a well made film. It was a well made image, which is why it is so frustrating that it's more frustrating than anything, man. Because, because now you, it's you like you have all the tools there and everything. Is like, oh my gosh, you have the right idea. You have the setting and so forth. All you have to do is just do it, make a few little choices, just a few little key choices, just to bring it home. But see, here's the thing, though, and this is my issue because I've been on Reddit, on the predator thread on Reddit and so forth, and it is overwhelmingly positive. And my thing is, <laughs> now don't have a heart attack, please. Don't have a heart attack. There are some people who have said that this might be the best predator film. Those people are crazy. Like either like you don't understand how good that first movie is, or you're just jumping on the bandwagon. You it's, know. And, and I think people. I think, in what yeah, world is that even? Reactionary. You know. Um, so I can't take you seriously if you say that. It's like really. Look, here's the thing. The, a sequel is going to get made. This, like, the response to this has been warmly positive. So look, it's going to be worse. This isn't the Bay Formers, where it was a disaster that that thing that this thing did well. I am happy that this has done well. My only hope is, <laughs> see, this is my hope. Now this one happened. My hope is, in some weird way. Can we resurrect John McTiernan and get the Thomas Brothers to make a Predator film? That's my hope. <laughs> well, obviously, McTiernan is going through some legal issues, and I don't know what the issues are. With, but I feel with the response of this movie, they're going to carry on with this. And also, look, bro, I don't want a sequel starring this girl again, man. Like, let's 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 just let. I mean, like, it was fine for this, but let, let's let's not. Let let's go to feudal Japan. Let's go to the Middle Ages, Vikings, or so forth. We're now done with this setting here. So, no, man. In keeping with you know tradition, you know, here's the thing: when Dutch fought that predator in the first movie, the amount of psychological damage a person would have to go through after experiencing what he experienced, you're not going to be fighting anything anytime soon. No, no, no. <laughs> Thank you, man. You keep on bringing all these nuggets. Did you see what a Dutch looked like in that helicopter? At the end of Predator One, you can see it in his eyes. Like yeah, it, no, the guy was he was he was scarred. Like it's he was scarred. The guy was fully one hundred percent scarred. You know, um, I mean, even just thinking about it, the fact that you you face off against something from another world, and you know these things exist and they're out there, just that alone, that'll that'll fuck you up, man. Yeah. No, no, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> This is what I'm saying. Like Predator One is a masterpiece because it touches on all of these issues perfectly. And the more times I watch it, the more that I get from it because I'm like, man, how the hell did this was supposed it was supposed to be a stupid '80s action movie? It has all the elements of anything that I could ever want in a movie: action, suspense, horror, sci-fi. Amazing alien, like but, but, the best alien I've ever seen. No, but see, Tony, but do you know what it is? John McTiernan. Now it's great script, it's superb script, which was which was super smart. So we can we can we must always respect the script. But when you look at Predator One, John freaking McTiernan, because what that is is a director who is very skilled and has a very clear vision and executed it to perfection, because. What makes that first film super is that it's a merging of two genres. 
that first half, oh, it's an action film and so forth. And just how seamless the switch is to this isn't, there's no more a joke. This is now serious. This is now actually now quite scary. And the film now is a lot more slower. It's a lot more psychological. But also as well, what, you see, what you have to understand with these kinds of films is the, and again, this, this from, I don't want to keep on crapping on prey, but I just have to keep it a stack. It is, it is way more effective when you fully embellish the characters of your piece. We yes. knew those characters so well in Predator 1 that when they got taken out, it meant something. The Prey felt like a slasher flick. These characters are nobodies, they're empty vessels. Like from even the main character, I can't go through without to be, main, main, to be main honest main though. I did, I, I did feel a little something for the brother because they did spend some time with, with him at the beginning. Yeah, they did, but, but not, not enough. It wasn't not enough. enough. Not enough. Like, like, yeah. Everyone knows who, what Bill is about, what Dylan is about, what Mark is Dylan. about, what is about. We all know what they're about. So it really felt as if, oh, we really know these guys. So when they got taken out, you could really feel the effect that it had on everyone. And you do know what oh, that yes. is as well? It's also, you see, that's why I say, look, this film was 90 minutes. You have to make this film two hours. It needed more time. It needed you more time, 100%. And with two hours, that, that first hour is character building. For that first hour, is, your hour is built solely to character building and you're slowly seeing the predator and so forth. You're just slowly, slowly seeing it come. But see, for me, I, do, I just feel like if this Dan, this director guy, he is skilled and so forth. I just don't think he has the sophistication that a McTiernan has. Like, here's the no. thing. No, no, so, sorry. <laughs> he's racist, he's sexist, and I think he might be, be mad. Gibson? Imagine... <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Mel, because all I was thinking about was I brought, you gave this to Mel Gibson. And they say, okay, no, we want this to be real and so forth. You will see. And because, bro, I told you, Apocalypto is one of the most incredible films I've ever seen in my life. I've ever seen in my life. So when I saw a trailer for this, I thought, screw an English version. No, this thing is in Comanche. Read those damn sub 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 sub. That's a good point. That's a good point. They should have made it in Comanche, the whole thing. That that would have added a little bit more. Oh, no, 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 but, but oh, sorry, but maybe you don't know. So on Disney Plus, you can you you have an option to watch it in in Comanche. Oh, really? That's yeah, interesting. There's an option, but here's my thing: it shouldn't even be an option. It should just be like no. It should this, just be that way. Yeah. Hunt, like any version you see is in Comanche, and you have subtitles, and. That will just drive us home a lot more. Don't, why, why, why is it in English? If people can read subtitles, screw them. Like, bro, I don't think anybody had any issues with the apocalypse. Parasite, the film that won the Oscar a few years ago, that's it's in Korean. <laughs> so, trust me, subtitles is not an issue. If the film is good, it doesn't matter if it's in sub subtitles. So, I thought that, bro, it would just be in Comanche in all versions. There wouldn't be an English version. Um, so. Yeah, no, I mean, honestly, like, for me, it's a, it's a 6 out of 10 because it's Ooh, yeah. it's a 6 out of 10, which, you know, it's, it's a 6 out of 10, it, to me, is like an above average movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, as a Predator fan, you know, you got to understand something. As a Predator fan, we've had a hard man. And when well, people started talking. There have been horrible films. There were some horrible movies, man. I don't. People start talking early, you know, early reviews and such, and saying things like, "Like, oh, this is the best." Put. For me, it's 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 third place, mm. but. Oh, oh, okay, so you put this above Predators. I would, yeah. I, I, I was thinking about it, man. It was it was a, I was flip flopping between the mm. two. The thing is, oh, no, no, the, the Predator no, no, in this no, no, movie. No, no. I is, put this it, above pre pre Predators. I, I put above this Predators. Predators. Yeah. I was thinking about it because I it's the thing is for me it's the, the direction of this film the cinematography the first two thirds were better I mean it just it just was a better yeah. movie but yeah it's just God can we talk about the predator a little bit because I think yeah. you know the there were parts of this movie whereby it was just walking around and. Something about watching a pair just casually walk around 
kind of su- it, it like sucks all the horror out of it. No, and I'm Not like, man, story. why did you show so much of this? And specifically, that fight when they were fighting in the ash, in that in that crazy like snow area or whatever they yeah. were. And I'm watching yeah, this thing. Nah, 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 it doesn't nah, work. Nah, it doesn't I'm work. I'm sorry. Look, I'm, nah, Vincent, nah, this, nah, sorry, this from now. Nah. Because you're just reminding me now. Nah, 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 nah. I can't, like, this dude, okay, good efforts and so forth. It's not, it's not a slasher flick. Which is why I say, like, you see, when I go online and I see people giving this, like, super praise, why do you like Predator 1? Or do you truly understand why Predator is such a good film so is your enjoyment because the predator just looks cool and he is really nasty and badass and so forth or do you actually appreciate the quality of the filmmaking and how the predator was presented so that's my thing because the predator shouldn't just be walking around like some. it should never be shown walking around like that never this thing do you remember probably one when this thing showed itself, it was like a big deal. Like every time this thing showed itself, do you remember the scene where um, Dylan first sees it mm. and it swings from the tree and it's hanging like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it declosed for two seconds and then it goes back just 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 to show Dylan, I'm here. Yeah, this is like, what you're they, dealing with. No, but, so, but now, see, here's the thing though: you can never recapture that feeling of the first film or seeing it for the first time. Oh, that's no, not at all. New. Not at but all. My thing that what should always be maintained is the mystery, which is why Predator 2 was so good. You see, the, the Thomas Brothers, they have given you a template. Hmm. What, what would it feel like for Samurai to fight this invisible haunting machine? Hmm. What would it be like for Vikings to fight this invisible machine? What would it be like for African wars? What would it be like? So... Oh, every, it would be so cool, setting, man. See, every so setting cool, and, man. And, and so forth comes with interesting cinematic ways of presenting the Predator and also comes up with certain ways of, now, how will these guys, based on their military background and their strategy, deal with this kind of thing and how will they react to it? How will Samurai from the past react to, to this thing? How will Vikings react to this thing? Well, how will guys from the Wild West, cowboys, how will they react to, to this whole thing and how will they go about taking it down? That is the you. That is the, the juice and the beauty of what you've now created. That's what so, people don't understand, man. Because if even if you like, if you read the comic books, there are so many interesting stories that just revolve. Like it could just be like you can. It's a it's a template. You can literally just have any type of film, and you throw a predator in it, and it becomes something really interesting. It's weird. It's almost like they created this crazy like subgenre of movies whereby like, hey, you can have Predator Two is essentially like a, a cop action movie, mm-hmm. but there's this crazy alien in the background doing all these things, and it's like, man, dude, just do it, just do it. <laughs> okay, so, so look, man, let's let's just round off. So look, final thoughts, man. Final, your, your your final thoughts, final overall thoughts, man. <sighs> It hurts, man. It hurts because I, I really wanted this to be. I really wanted this to be the the second best Predator movie, man. I had that idea in my brain of like, man, all these all these elements that I'm seeing, the trailers, the you know, the creativity behind everything that I'm hearing. It sounds like this thing is gonna be exactly what I wanted, man. And after watching The Predator, which is one of the most biggest disgraces I've ever had to sit through in my life. It just for me, I, 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 I just blanked this from my memory. I didn't, I didn't even bother going to watch that crap. So, What made it worse is that like I was actually enjoying this. The first two threads, I was loving this film. Mm. And to have it just be sucked away at the final act, oh, man, here we go. We're back in the same old routine again. Oh. Yeah, man, I'm going to have to give it like a 6 out of 10. It's above average, man. It hurts me to say that because if this movie kept following through and it kept following through the way it was going on its own path and doing its own thing, and it would have been an 8 out of 10, man. It would have been 8 out of 10. Um, I'm going to say, because I was going to give it a 7, but you reminded me of that ending, and I'm remembering the CG. I'm going to still say 6. I'm going to say 6.5. I'll give it a six point one because the filmmaking was good, and for two thirds the filmmaking was good and so forth. But it just faltered. I th- look, my thing is that it is a decent film. It is a well-made film, and 
there are some really good moments here. There's some really good elements here. I just feel that the impact, that fear, that, okay, do you remember when the Predator was on the train in Predator 2? Oh, yeah. And the lights were off and the lights were flickering and, and, and so forth. That was oh, yeah. genuinely scary. That was genuinely frightening and scary. I was like, oh, like, like, what the hell? Delight, get to the light, <laughs> stay in the light. <laughs> yeah, the light. So, yeah, so for me, I think this is 6.5. And look, I mean, if there's any bright spots, it's the third best film. Let me see, this is the best Predator film since it's, Predator 2. It's the best effort that we've had. And, you know, so, it's, it's definitely the best effort we had. It's, it just it's, didn't, it's it just didn't make it. It's, it's a solid effort and so forth. So, um, just looking forward to see what they do, man. But here's my thing. I believe this guy is a fan of Predator. He appreciates it, but he doesn't understand it. Yes, that's, that's the one. The director, he appreciates the Predator franchise. He doesn't understand it. So his appreciation is how well made the film is and there's some elements that he gets the, because he doesn't understand it that's why the predator is walking around like some dude on the street and so forth and that is why the girl was able to do you know that she was sliding under his legs and so forth she was doing <laughs> slides under his legs flipping up and down. i was like i like, bro I mean, I mean, come on, Assassin's Creed have hope. So she was doing Assassin's Creed on the Predator, man. I mean, god damn. Oh. Look, man. All right, look, man. As I get, guys, comment below. Give us your thoughts. Tell us what you think. And yeah, man. And we're out, man. One love, man. <laughs>